Hi, welcome back to part five of the Whitetail Deer Wood Carving Project. Uh, in the last video, um, I made the antlers, and I and I did that using uh, copper wire that I soldered together to make the frame, and then I used uh, polymer clay to cover them with, and baked it in the oven to harden it to set it. Um, so, and I just had them on temporarily. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna paint them all separate. So, but today I'm gonna to be working on um, the head a little bit. I'm gonna hide the seam where I attach the ears and build up that base just a little bit to make it blend in with the head a little bit. And after looking at it for a couple of days, um, there's some areas on the head that I need to tweak just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that today as well. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna carve out the eyes versus carving the eyes in the, with the wood. I'm gonna carve out eye sockets and then I'm gonna make a um, eyeballs out of epoxy sculpt. Um, also gonna be adding fur to the body today and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Um, but I appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me. If you, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. And uh, so I'm gonna get this camera turned around and get started. I'm going to carve out these eye sockets here. All right, I've made up the epoxy sculpt here. And I'm going to pull out a little tiny piece for the eyes. As you can see, that putty around the ears already dried and turned white. that okay, now I'm putting the hair on I'm just using this uh, coarse grit just going real slow just letting the I'm letting the uh, points put the hair in All right, I think I've got all the fur done. I did some of it just real slow with it turning real slow. And then I took it just still and held it. And just kind of went over it, little short strokes. And it looks, looks like fur, looks like deer hair. So, I think I'm ready to start painting. I'm gonna run my little deburring tool over here just to kind of smooth it down a little bit. I don't wanna take any of the hair detail off. Just wanna kind of knock some of the little uh, 
the little burrs that got kicked up. All right, so I'm gonna start painting. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I need to get my paint brush, my paint shirt on. I don't want to get paint over my apron here. Be right back. All right, now I have to worry about getting my shirt nasty. So let's start out with the white here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna prime this. I don't, I don't know that I need to. So I'm not going to. Probably should, but. Painting up just a little farther than on the white and what it, I think it needs because I'll go over it with the uh, the grayish blue color that they have. So I don't think the white doesn't come that far around the front on most of them, but I'm gonna like I say I can. Uh, I'll fix that with the top coat of the top part of the deer. All right, I need to mix up the base coat. And I'm going to use some burnt umber. And I'm going to gray it down just a little bit. Put just a tiny tinge of cat orange in that, a cat yellow, and maybe just a tiny bit of burnt sienna. That's a little reddish. Probably didn't mix enough. <laughs>
Then I'm just taking a uh, this thin wash of of um, burnt sienna, just kind of tinting the uh, gray, just a little reddish brown. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera or not. Need a bigger, wider brush. Well, after um, looking at it overnight, I've decided it was too dark and I really didn't like the color. So I'm going to, um, I was gonna start all over, but I think I'm just gonna make up a, um, I kind of experimented with some, uh, with some, um, raw umber or I'm sorry raw sienna mixed with a little bit of white and it actually looks pretty good over the top of that so I think what I'm going to do is just dry brush a lot of layers over the top of this dark until I get the desired color I want It's a little better. Um, I think it can stand to be a little bit lighter though. I might have to redo those, but they're there. It's also a little tiny white gland right down here might be just a little bright
all right i got most of it painted my stinking gopro battery died so i don't know how much of it i got i think i was able to shoot some on my phone that i'll add to it but um i think i got most of it done so got the eyes and the nose um, what I'm gonna do now is take some of this um, polyacrylic clear gloss and I'm gonna paint over the eyes and then the tip of the nose and the hooves to make them give them a little shine I may do a couple coats on them. All right, let that dry, and then I'll um, put another coat or two on there. And I'm getting ready to mount the antlers. I um, I don't know how much of the painting I got on the antlers done either, because that was uh, part of the GoPro issue. Alright, that's going to do it for the whitetail deer project. Um, I still got the habitat base to go and I may or may not do a video on that. If I do, it'll probably just be a, a YouTube short that I'll, uh, that I'll post with it all completed. And, and then again, I may go ahead and shoot a video on that process too um, and with, it, with mounting it. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to mount it yet. That'll be something I have to look at. Um, but overall, I'm happy with the finished project being it's the first one that I've ever done and uh, I'm really happy with the way the antlers turned out uh, so you know what do y'all think um, I had a heck of a time getting the color right 
Um, I almost had to start over a couple times, but I finally just started. I got enough washers on it to get it to the hue that I want. I don't know if it's coming out on the camera or not. It looks better in person than it does on the camera, I can tell. So, but um, I had trouble with the head symmetry, but I think I finally got that down pretty much. Um, and, I, and there's a few things that I would do different next time. Uh, I don't know if I would do another deer jumping or not. Uh, I think the next one I'll do will just be a, a basic majestic pose of a whitetail, uh, you know, an alert whitetail. But anyway, overall I'm happy with it. And uh, I'm, my next project is going to be a black crappie. And I uh, hope to start that here pretty soon. I got to get caught up on some work around here. I hurt my leg here a couple of weeks ago and haven't been able to do much in the yard. So I got to get caught up on that. But uh, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And if you like these videos, be sure and hit that thumbs up for me. And uh, I will see y'all in the next one.